And what do you think I saw? A member of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> he was a dandy. There he was, standing there in his big white cape with that cap, you know, what do you call it? With a pointed top on it and two slits where his eyeball could peek out, you know. <laughs> and uh, I said, hey, Mr. Ku Klux Klan, would you come on over, please? He come over, I said, listen, get up on this machine. This is weird. I want you to try something. He did. <laughs> I dropped in a dime. The bell rang. A card popped out. I said, you is a member of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> you weigh 142 pounds. And you're soon returning to your home base in Tupelo, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> we looked at each other flabbergasted. <laughs> There wasn't, no, there wasn't no room for an upsurge between us. We understood <laughs> each other. We agreed that that mother was a genius. <laughs> but, uh, so I told him, I said, now listen, if that machine can't possibly be that smart, I said, listen, I got a plan. <laughs> let me borrow your cape. <laughs> let me borrow your cape, honey, and let me, let me borrow your cap with that tam on it, you know. So I put on that Ku Klux Klan, I put on that big white cape, and that big white tam, you know, covered in my f Listen, I was it. <laughs> honey, standing at that bus station in Texas, I could have been Calvin Craig that day. <laughs> I mean it, I was it. The real thing, the grand dragon of them all. I said, there ain't no machine that small, I know it. So I climbed back up on the machine, listened to me, dropped in another dime, <laughs> the bell rang, and the card came out. We see, you is still a demonstrator. <laughs> you was on your way to Los Angeles rights, but you fooled around with the Ku Klux Klan and missed your bus. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna make some girls pop in this room. I ain't gonna stop. <laughs> Speaking of girls, I got on one that's guaranteed to hold up to 450 pounds pressure. <laughs> and you better hope it don't go. <laughs> we finally arrived in that fabulous city of Los Angeles. And honey, let me tell you, it was everything that you ever heard that it was. Oh, Lord, it was wonderful. Smoke, flame, fire, bomb. <laughs> Bombs bursting in air. Listen, I felt like George Washington. I ain't like <laughs> But, uh, cause we sat right about in our jobs, after all, we had a lot of looting to do. <laughs> I dashed into one store and picked up four 21 inch Zenith TVs, just like that. <laughs> you know? The ones with the blue tubes. <laughs> Here I come, bouncing back out the street. <laughs> I can appreciate the, 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 the problem that the businessmen in Los Angeles has got. They, them poor devils can't get no ride in them. <laughs> they got a problem. Listen, I'm in full sympathy with them. I know, honey. I dropped the TV, and you know what? I can't get a dime worth of insurance. <laughs> Not a dime! <laughs> Yeah, I went, the bombs was bursting and the fire and the smoke and everything, and somebody passed me. <laughs> Had four cases of Jack Daniels. <laughs> he was really coming on. I said, hold it, darling. Wait a minute. I'll meet you at the end of the block and we'll do a swap out. <laughs> But we had our problems too, you know. Here I come on down, really humping, really coming on with them four TVs. And look up, and what I see surrounding me but 28 National Guardsmen. <laughs> had the guns drawn and the bayonets on them. Somebody hollered, halt and we'll shoot. Oh. I said, who are you kidding? <laughs> who are you kidding? <laughs> you ain't gonna shoot nobody. What you better do is drop them guns and help me load these TVs. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Thank you. But uh, thank you very much. But but I tell you, I was so insulted by them national government. I 
I dashed to a telephone, public telephone, Southern Ball, you know the one. I went on ahead and I called. I made a collect call to Sergeant Shriver. <laughs> and of course I got him on the line. I said, hello, Sergeant! This is the president of SICK. SICK, S-I-C-K, SICK. Just, what's that, Sergeant? Sergeant, listen to me. You better believe what I'm telling you right now, Sergeant. Police brutality is unbelievable. You just can't believe it. That's right, and listen, Sergeant, if you don't get that police brutality stopped pronto and, and come on down, listen, I want a federal aid check laying in my bail box by 12 midnight. What's that, you fresh out of federal aid check? Well, darling, send me a land grant. That'll be all right. I picked up another phone and called a hurt you driver in the two and a half ton truck to haul my loot. And I come on back to Atlanta, Georgia. Now I know that you have heard it all. You've heard it all. You heard that the, that the riots are squelched. Peace has been brought back to the land. Negotiations have took over and everybody's happy now. That's a bald-faced lie. <laughs> there ain't a word of truth in it. You know the real reason we pulled out of Los Angeles? We got a telegram from a spy in the South which said, pull out of Los Angeles because of, because the Selma Police Department is on the way up there. <laughs> That's 13 of the meanest devils I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> but ladies, I want to say this to you this evening. Open up your hearts. Open them on up. Come on down front. This is your opportunity to join and to be a part of a great organization. Now, if you join us, wonderful orders, then you're going to receive this beautiful card. Look at that gold print. Raise up there. It, it retitled you to say, I'm sick. Right across there. <laughs> this would entitle you girls to, to have your functions anywhere you see fit. Just think about that. Have no more financial problems. Anytime your bankroll gets low, you can throw a ride and loot the joint. <laughs> see what I mean? This will also entitle you to lay-ins, sit-ins, and squat-downs. <laughs> and that is everywhere except Washington, D.C., you know. That looks bad for the Pentagon, but that's the way the grapefruit squirts. But anyway, ladies, now at this time, I think that we have brought the program for enough progress where we're going to call for sure hands. I know it's going to be a block vote. Now, when I count three, <laughs> when I count three, everybody, let's see, let's take a vote and find out everybody wants to become a member. Now, I mean this thing, really now. <laughs> Only count one, two, three. Everybody up. <laughs> Let me repeat the question. <laughs> everybody that wants to become a member of SICK and be entitled to all these wonderful benefits, raise your ever-loving hand. One, two, three. What's the matter? <laughs> What's the matter, you sick? <laughs> I mean, raise the hands. All right, I tell you right now, you know, I lean towards violence. <laughs> since y'all <laughs> since y'all have become so 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 negative, I'm gonna create a riot right here in this room. I'm gonna take on all 35 of you right now. I mean that thing. Come on in here now, let's get it. I mean it. Oh, let me hear a promise. Woo! Oh, 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 oh